It has now been 210 days or seven months since I started my NoFap journey. First of all, I just want to address this real quick. In my last few update videos, people were telling me that I was milking this topic. And, you know, I just want to clear the air real quick. I am not trying to milk this topic, okay? I don't post these update videos for the people that are already subscribed to me. I post these more for people that are not subscribed to me. These are videos that get me the most new subscribers. You know, it's in my analytics. These videos are the ones that get me the most new subscribers. They get me the most money. And it seems like they help the most people since they get the most views. So I just want to go ahead and put that out there so that, you know, nobody thinks that I'm just trying to take advantage of this. You know, and also another thing is that making these videos helps keep me accountable as well. Because if I don't make these videos, then I don't really have much of an incentive to keep going. Because as you've probably noticed, if you've been keeping up with all of my update videos, the benefits haven't changed that much. You know, the benefits don't really change that much from month to month after about 90 days. You know, they pretty much stay the same. So I feel like this helps keep me accountable because, you know, I want to be a leader. I want to practice what I preach and I want to show you guys that this stuff really works. I also want to put this out there that a lot of no fat benefits are placebo. Okay, I'm just going to say that right now. A lot of the benefits are placebo and that's okay. Just because they're in your mind doesn't mean they're not real. That's how the law of attraction works. If you believe something strongly enough, it'll manifest itself, including these no fat benefits and most of what I'm about to list in this video. Now, with that being said, the first benefit that I've noticed is discipline. I say this every video, but discipline is probably the main benefit of doing NoFap. The reason why is because as a man, what is the one thing that we are biologically hardwired to do? We are here to release. That is why we are on this earth. We are here to participate in intercourse with women and release and keep the population going and growing. And when you don't do that, when you go against your biological impulse in that way, you are going to become much more disciplined, especially as you go along this journey over time. You know, me personally, I was always a very disciplined person. But before I started NoFap, I was definitely starting to slip up, especially with YouTube. You know, I would miss uploads. I would put girls above YouTube and, you know, my priorities were all out of whack. But ever since I started NoFap, I have been on my grind. I have not missed a single upload. You know, I started NoFap back in April, April of 2020. I have not missed a single upload since then. Right now, I'm posting two to three videos a day for this whole month. You know, I'm disciplined. I stick to my schedule. You know, I make sure that I get my stuff done every single day. And yes, you know, the fact that YouTube is a job for me and that I make money from this and that my platform is growing, that does, you know, matter to me. That matters in the sense that now I have even more of a reason to be disciplined. I have more of a reason to treat this like a job. But at the same time, discipline is all in the mind. It starts in the mind. So when you break that habit or that addiction, rather, you're going to become more disciplined and it's going to carry over into the other areas of your life such as YouTube, or if you're in school, you know, doing your homework, or going to the gym more often, you're going to have more discipline. You know, I said this before, but when you lack motivation, discipline has to take the place of motivation. And, you know, if you don't have discipline, you're not going to make it very far, no matter what you're trying to do, or no matter how passionate you are about what you're trying to do, because you're going to slack off while other people are putting in the work. So, you know, discipline, that is the main and, in my opinion, most important benefit that I have noticed on my NoFap journey. Now, one thing about discipline, and I have mentioned this in my How to Be Disciplined video, but one thing about discipline is that it kind of reinforces the idea of self-love. It is probably the greatest practice of self-love that you can participate in. And the reason why is because you're rejecting instant gratification for the sake of long-term gratification. You're doing things for yourself in the long term because you know that it's gonna benefit you more overall. So, you know, that right there, that helps you develop that foundation of self-love. And in doing so, you're gonna become a much more confident person, which is my next benefit, confidence, okay? I have become a much more confident person, a more charismatic person. And I wouldn't even say that 
I've become more charismatic. It's just I've unlocked the charisma that was already there. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not, you know, the smoothest person out there. I'm not the most intriguing person out there. But clearly, I'm doing something right because my channel continues to grow at a very rapid pace. You know, people are interested enough to watch me talk to a camera. That must mean that I'm doing something right, <laughs> you know? That means that I'm doing something right. And I'm not saying all of this to brag, but results are results. And, you know, I have definitely become a more confident person. You can see this in my videos. You know, if you go back and watch a video from like March to now, you can see the difference in my presence. You know, I'm able to project my voice more. I'm able to film in public more. You know, I'm able to do live streams with other people around. I'm able to do things like that because I'm more secure within myself because of the discipline that I've gained from doing NoFap. Because I know that I love myself. And each day that I continue on my NoFap journey further proves that self-love. Now, with confidence comes women attraction. Now look, I'm not gonna cap, okay? I'm not over here just getting women left and right like that. And on top of that, you know, I don't really see women that much in general to get women like that. But I've definitely noticed a few isolated incidents of women attraction, or at least what I perceive to be women attraction, while on my NoFab journey. And actually, I meant to make a video on that in November, but I forgot. So be on the lookout for that video. I'm gonna make a whole separate video about my theory on women attraction and why I think it works the way that it does. The next thing that I've noticed with NoFap is that I am much more in tune with my emotions. Now, if you are not a very disciplined person, this can definitely be a con for you, okay? If you don't have the discipline to control your emotions, you can find yourself in some pretty uncomfortable situations while on NoFap because NoFap is going to increase agitation. You know, you're gonna become just more emotional in general, like your highs are higher and your lows are lower. And, you know, you get mad over things that may not have made you mad in the past. And the reason why is because you're depriving yourself of the one thing that you wanna do. You know, just like with a kid, for example, if a kid wants to go outside and play and you keep them in the house all day, you tell them that they can't go outside, they're gonna get agitated, they're gonna get mad. It's the same thing with releasing as a man. You know, if you hold that back, especially if you're on retention, you are going to experience agitation. Now the key is you need to learn to process these emotions in a healthy way. Don't try to suppress your emotions. Don't do that. That's how mental illness happens. That's how depression, anxiety happen. You know, you need to learn to express your emotions in a creative and or productive way. For me personally, when I feel sad, for example, I like to write. You know, I like to write. I like to write poetry. I'll write in my journal. You know, whatever I need to do to get myself out of that space. I'll listen to sad music. You know, I allow myself to feel the emotion fully. Or when I get mad, for example, I'll start doing push-ups. You know, I'll go hit the gym, I'll work out. I'll do something productive, something that I can benefit from in the long run. You know, a practice of self-love. And I think this right here is a very significant benefit for a lot of men, because a lot of men are conditioned to believe that they're supposed to hold in their emotions. You're not supposed to hold in your emotions. You're supposed to channel them in healthy ways okay don't try to hold in your emotions i say this all the time it's not healthy for you it's killing your mental health and a lot of the time you're only doing it because you're insecure about how others are going to perceive you for being emotional without recognizing that a lot of the greatest men out there you know a lot of men that accomplish great things they were emotional they just learned to channel their emotions in a healthy way now the next benefit that i've noticed is energy Okay, I have a lot more energy. And it's not like anything extreme, but it's just like, you know, you have like a a little zip to you. I don't really know how to explain it, but I feel like I just have more energy to do the things that I need to do every day. And you know, this kind of goes along with the discipline as well, you know, and this is a big part of the reason why I'm able to stay so consistent on YouTube with posting you know, now three videos a day at this point, which is kind of insane. I wouldn't have been able to do this back in March, but now I have the energy to do this because since I'm holding back that impulse, that desire, you know, I just need to transmute that energy somewhere. I need to let that energy go somewhere. You know, a lot of people say that when they're on NoFap, 
they might have trouble sleeping. You know, they need to get one off so that they can sleep properly. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. You know, a lot of times you have this extra energy and you just let it go by releasing. And now it's gone. You didn't even do anything. You didn't do anything productive. If you learn to take that energy and transmute it into something that will benefit you in the long run, you can get a lot of stuff done. Okay, you can get a lot of things done. Like I said, for me, it's YouTube. For you, it might be getting a master's degree. You know, it might be putting on some muscle. Whatever you want to do with your time, whatever change you want to see in your life, if you learn to take that energy and transmute it, okay, transmutation is a very real thing. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can be transferred, okay? So if you take this energy and transfer it into something that actually matters as opposed to wasting it into your sock or, you know, wherever else, I'm not going to get into all of that. But if you take that energy and put it towards something that actually matters in your life, you're going to get things done. You're going to get a lot of stuff done. And when you combine that energy with the discipline that you gain over time, you are going to become great. You're going to become great. Now, don't get it twisted. Okay, no fap is not necessary to be great in life. You don't need to do no fap to do great things, but it'll definitely help. It won't work to your detriment at all. No fap will help you, okay? It will assist you, but also recognize that no fap is not going to do the work for you. It'll give you the raw materials, the raw energy and discipline and the mindset to do what you need to do, but you have to take that initiative to actually do those things. That's why a lot of people say that they do no fap for like months and they don't experience any changes. It's because you didn't change your life. You didn't use that extra energy or discipline that you have. You know, if you maintain the same lifestyle from before you started NoFap, your life's not gonna change, of course, because you're doing the same things.